Hey, what's up guys? John here. Well, the world was distracted by the Francis Scott Key Bridge collapsing just two days ago. Cargo ship strikes a pillar of the Francis Scott Key Bridge, sending the principal section of that bridge into the river. Billions of eyeballs went directly to that story, asking the big question, what's going to happen with our supply chains? With Delaware, Boston, Philadelphia, New York City, how are they going to get food, materials? How are they going to get everything that they need? And what's going to really happen worldwide now that the Suez Canal, the Red Sea, and the Panama Canal are all walking into big problems? Well, it's a big story. But what if I were to tell you this story is 10 times bigger and it was released at the same exact time and it got almost no media attention. The United States Federal Reserve is considering the creation of a digital dollar. This is going to control, you know, how people eat, where they work, how they live, you know, how they spend money, all of this going forward. It's the release date of a central bank digital currency and it's happening within 12 to 24 months. That is gonna come so fast. Think about this. Over the last four years, our entire worlds have changed in 25% or 50% of that same timeline, this is gonna happen again, except at a much more radical, radical way. In this video, I'm gonna break it down. I'm gonna show you with verifiable facts where this is actually going, what this is gonna mean for all of us and what you can do to position yourself in advance of all this. Please hit the like button, hit the like button, YouTube will share this content to educate the people about what's going on in the world's economy. If you'd like to fix your credit to position yourself, what I believe is gonna be the greatest wealth transfer in American history, we'd love to help you at my company, greatcreditfast.com, that's greatcreditfast.com. If you have late payments, medical bills, charge-offs, foreclosures, bankruptcies, repossessions, or any negative item in a credit report, go to greatcreditfast.com, click the link in the description just below this video, schedule a free call for tomorrow. Take a look at this. So, it's crazy. SWIFT planning launch of new central bank digital currency within 12 to 24 months. Global bank messaging network, SWIFT, is planning a new platform in the next one to two years to connect the wave of central bank digital currencies now in development to the existing finance system. The move, which will be one of the most significant yet for the CBDC ecosystem, given SWIFT's key role in global banking, it is likely to be fine-tuned to when the first major ones are launched. Around 90% of the world's central banks are now exploring digital versions of their currencies most don't want to be left behind by Bitcoin and other cryptos but are grappling with technological complexities. Now, what is really shocking is how fast this is moving. So they say, we explain, this is on IMF uh, blog, imf.org, right? So uh, International Monetary Fund. We explain how CBDCs could be designed to facilitate cross-border payments and still managing capital flows with new digital technologies that can make payment infrastructure programmable. Think about this programming your money. Now, if you have a hundred bucks, you can just spend it however you want to spend it, right? When you have programmable CBDC, it's going to change, right? If you, maybe you say something on social media, maybe you are, you know, around the wrong friends or you're doing something that, you know, is viewed as, you know, bad faith, or maybe it doesn't, you know, check certain boxes that, that money might not go through. Right. And so when you have programmable money, it's going to be a very, very different form of money. Now, what's fascinating here, is how they say that CBDC can stop inflation. It possesses a unique characteristic that can be leveraged to exert control over inflation and influence money multiplier effect. Now, what I believe is gonna happen is I believe we are gonna to start to see inflation get a lot worse. And over the next year or so, as inflation gets much, much, much worse, there's gonna be a massive demand for a solution to combat inflation, a massive demand for financial assistance, a demand for help. That's what's coming. And so over the next year or two, this great wealth transfer, those that have cash, those that are building out either good businesses or you know, they're positioned well, they're not gonna need the universal basic income as quickly. Those that have cash, those that have the financial means are gonna have options, right? Wealth is options now. So programmable or purpose-bound money is coming, probably as a feature from central bank digital currencies. Governments may dictate where or when you use it but it's not a gift card, right? Now, what's very, very fascinating, this is McKinsey. McKinsey saying, what is central bank, what is the CBDC? There's obviously, uh, digital currencies issued by central banks, their value is linked to the issuing country's official currency. The other value is linked by the value in which everybody gives it. Now, what I think is gonna be happening is we're gonna continue to see this all over 2024. 
in early 2025. That they're, you know, they're handing residents cash, no strings attached. No, they're getting residents ready for this, you know, financial handout that's going to be continuing to grow. In 2021, there were only 11 cities that issuing a UBI, only 11 on pilot programs. Then it went to 82 cities in 2022. Now there's hundreds of cities all across America issuing universal basic income pilot programs. You know, some as low as, you know, a couple hundred dollars a month, some as high as a couple thousand dollars. So it's really, really, really growing in a very, very, very big way. But, you know, it's going to be paving the way for this digital dollar. Now, in the UK, they're offering $2,000 a month to some residents, you know, and that, you know, they say it's because, you know, they're and not because they're in dire straits. Could it work here? What's fascinating here is how when you look at the UBI, you look at the four day work week, right? What they want is people to stay home, as you can tell, right? They want people to stay home and to collect a check. And so when there's no silver bullet, why a four day work week can't fix work life balance, right? Then Bernie Sanders. Coincidentally, two weeks ago, he proposes a 32-hour work week. So he's talking about this. You have these small businesses adopted a four-day work week. Here's what we've learned. Well, fascinatingly, as he's you know introducing this, you have all these different countries that are also introducing a four-day work week. Iceland, Belgium, Denmark, Scotland, Germany, USA, Portugal, Finland, Netherlands, Canada, Ireland, UK, Japan, Spain, Australia, New Zealand, South Africa, UAE. Lithuania. This is just some of them. I mean, there are, I mean, you're looking at dozens and dozens and dozens of countries that are issuing these uh, four-day workweek policies. Now, what I think is going to be happening over this year and early next year is we're going to start to see massive, massive, massive job loss. Here, watch this video and you'll know exactly what I mean. Look at this. Let me show you how you can create an AI UGC with our CADs. So here's our dashboard. Start with writing your script. You can write it yourself, transcribe it from existing video, or browse our templates. I have already prepared my script, so I will paste it now. The next step is to choose an actor you like. There are 40 plus options available. For example, you can choose me. Oh, I forgot to mention, I am also AI generated. Once you've chosen your actors, it will take up to only two minutes for the video to be ready. And here's a result. To celebrate our product hunt launch, we'll generate a free UGC for your brand. Put your product name and description in the comments and let us show you the power of our ads. Look at that. That's AI now. Imagine what this is going to look like in six months with the work from home trend. People are going to be working from home four days a week, getting a check from you know Big Brother. It's going to be a, a period of massive disruption. So the big question is how are people going to be able to make ends meet? It's going to be hard. That's what I think. I think we're walking into a situation where people are going to get pushed out of, you know, their cars. They're going to be pushed out of their homes uh, from owning these properties. They're going to be renting everything, right? And so what's fascinating is when you look at what China is doing, they've published plans to mass produce humanoid robots by next year, right? You have, you know, Elon saying that Earth will soon host a billion humanoid robots. And what he said is that, uh, it all started with a tweet from MidJourney founder David Holes, who predicted that by the time we've reached the 2040s, we should be expecting a billion humanoid robots on Earth, and that 20 years after that, we should expect 100 times that many, mostly alien robots, whatever that means. Now, it sounds pretty crazy, right? But, I mean, Elon saying that AI is going to outsmart the smartest human by next year, perhaps even all of humanity in the next four and a half years. Now, what I'm really curious is, if this all happens, if this does happen, and I myself, I love to have a good steak, love cheeseburgers, you know, I love to go out to eat, and uh, you know, eat whatever I want, right? Well, when, and I'm sure you do as well, but when you are getting checks, or people are getting checks, or anyone's getting a check, that check is, you know, really the power is held by those that wrote that check, right? And in this case, the CBDC. And so the question is, will we be eating filet? or cheeseburgers, or what will we be eating? This article came out on their website. Uh, this was eight years ago, so very fascinating. And I was wondering, what will we be eating in the next five and a half years, right? So, you know, they're talking a lot about, you know, the, what we're hearing now, right? a lot of the words, same words, but what was fascinating is they're saying that food loss and food waste, which is a very, very, very big topic in New York City and Los Angeles and San Francisco and many cities now, is combating food waste. So it's very fascinating that they, they foresaw this. 
Now, so they say, what will we be eating in the next five and a half years? I think demand will be shifting and more people will want to eat healthy diet, one that is less intensive and wasteful and re of resources. I agree. A lot of people don't want to eat healthy, right? Let's see what their version is. The increasing emergence of localism, whole foods, organic, and artisanal real food movement is a sign of this, at least for the rich and the dedicated, right? That's what I'm saying. We're in this wealth transfer. So our diets may be more veg and fruit, whole grains, vegetarian, or new alternatives, soy products, or perhaps insects, or artificial meat. And less fried and sugary things. We'll still eat meat, but perhaps more like our parents and grandparents. See, it is a treat to savior every few days. It's not going to happen every few days, I can promise you. Because once the artificial meat comes out, it's going to be, old. It's going to be out with uh, the old and in with the new. So when you see all this, you see the trends, you see where we're actually going, and you see how fast this plane's moving, 12 to 24 months, clock is ticking. My advice is to put yourself in the strongest position you possibly can over the next couple of years. Saving money, you know, it's great to save money. It's great to earn a really, really good income. But to put yourself in a position to where you can, you know, level up over the next year or two, because when you start to see a lot of people starting to sell assets, you're going to want to buy them. Right? You're going to want to be able to buy them, be able to invest, put yourself in a place to where you have a mode of safety around yourself and ideally your family so that you can have you know, the call, if you want to take this uh, CBDC or if you'd like to work four days a week or seven days a week, whatever you'd prefer, the more options that you have, the better, right? So my advice, make sure you have exceptional credit, make sure you have some reserves, savings, but I would invest, if you have five grand, 10 grand, I would invest into your education, make yourself as smart as possible, put yourself into the best rooms as possible, put yourself into a place where you can get funding and financing and do as much as you possibly can. I wouldn't hold on to $1,000, $2,000 thinking that's gonna help because the reality is $1,000, $2,000 in, in a year, as inflation continues to get worse, will probably be worth 20, 30% of, uh, of what it is today. Drop below, let's have a conversation about this. If you'd like to fix your credit, we'd love to help you at my company, greatcreditfast.com. That's greatcreditfast.com. If you have late payments, medical bills, charge-offs, foreclosures, bankruptcies, repossessions, or any negative item in your credit report, go to greatcreditfast.com. Click the link in the description just below this video. Schedule a free call for tomorrow. Catch the next video.